Hello, uh, good morning. My name is Jose Tabuada and I'm going to explain you how to use the probe station. Now we made some modifications in the probe station. So we remove the one of the springs that are located over here and in here place. This one and also in this place. And uh, so basically now we can operate without problems, but it will require we, we will be able to do the cryogenic measurements but for other normal uh, measurements now it's uh, more easy to do it and now let me explain how to do the steps for acquire, do an acquisition so the first thing is uh, using these ones we can uh, approach or we can um, attach or the sample so basically we move it to the maximum that is over here and we can locate the sample that it, it could be like in the center when the sample is in the center after that we can uh, turn this on so we can see where is the with the microscope and then we start to approach So as you can see now we are we can see the microscope or sample that is a series of small dots located in the, the probe station. So the next thing that we need to do is just to move these two because it's a uh, okay. So after we put our sample in the microscope, the next step is to approach the proofs uh, with ca uh, carefully. So we approach or we do it from back to the front so first we move these stages that is uh, this will approach the sample in this direction and this one we move it in lateral direction so we approach and then we have this uh, lock here and then we release it so we can move this without problem we have to be careful that it is locked, we can move it. If it's unlocked, we can move it. This is the Zeta movement, but in a rogue. Uh, so we can just see that the sample, it's like approaching. And then we can see that uh, it's a... And then when we are close, we just lock and then we can use the a small uh, seat we can use the small seat uh, that basically this one will move the they will approach the proofs to the proofs very smooth so we just select a point that we are here on the microscope and then we increase the zoom if we want to move the microscope to the side position we have we have two different layers we have two different uh, controls in this case this one that will move the microscope in this direction and this one located in the back that will move the microscope on this direction so in this case we just want to approach to the center then So now that we have our sample and our proof near, we can use this one first, we ensure that this one is locked, and then we release this small one, and then we can approach slowly. So now that we are more close to the sample we can just start make some small movements here to check where is the sample 
and then we can continue. So now we touch a sample. Next one is located in this section. So now we apply the same steps. For this case, we have to be careful and we need to use the Allen key that is located here. And this one, because similar, we need to uh, unlock the seat stage. So to do it, we put the Allen key in this section and then we apply a small turn and now we can move it. You have to be very careful because this one, if you um, if you don't hang it, it will slowly approach and you can damage very bad your sample if you don't be careful. So we just move it and then we are a little bit closer. We put the Allen key here, then we tight and now this uh, stage cannot move. So then we look for the side position using the similar to this one, the, these knobs. We reduce the zoom so we can see it better. And then So now we have our sample, or we can see where is our proof. So then we can move it. And then with the final, uh, with the small Sita, we can just lock it. And then we can just do a small approximation. And similar to the 4200 probe station we will be able to see when the proof already touched when we have like a small movement on the x or y direction so as you can see we already touched now we have to be sure that everything is locked and when the same, same position and then we can use the probe station so then after that we can open the interface select uh, which mode we need in this case i just want to check this uh, uh, resistance of this case of this uh, system and i just select this to terminals in this case and there are some stickers located here smu3 smu2 and smu1 it should be over there Every, uh, all of them have the stickers, so we can just check that it's uh, from 3 to 2. And we can just make a simple measurement from minus 5 to 5. And then we just go to Analyze and click on Run. And that's so this is for sample with two probe terminals now I'm going to explain how to use a tree the third proof so the third proof is located on the back so in this case we just need to have the Allen key go to the back And then this one has uh, some issues, so we need to, or some uh, restriction on the movement, so we need to be careful about the limits located here and here. 
limits located in this location here and here and also the limit in the city stage that is here so to do this first we try to approach we need to move the samples in this case first we need to put the city stage on the minimum that is in this case this one doesn't move or sh do you should not move it so we go down and then we use the allen key fit it here from this side and then into this then we approach like a link here move here we fix it we fix this one it's already fixed and then we can approach taking care of the limits in this case we are close and then we just similar to the other probes we just need to be careful and we can release the sample and we can attach like similar to the other ones to when we finish to do the measurements in this case and in all the cases first we lift the seat stitch up we lock it we go back then in this case it's better to do this so we use the allen key fit here, up, secure, and in the other ones, preview sample, or if we start from back to front, in this case we go from front to back, so first in this case, uh, we just unlock this, and then we can check that we are lifting the proof. Now the proof is lift, we close it, insert the link key here, then we move to here to secure and then we leave fully the proof station, we fix again and then we go back to here, that's all, and in this case similar, we can slowly do this so we can just remove it we lift a little bit then we unlock this then we lift fully and now our sample we can remove it without problem so that's all for the video if there is required another stuff, please you can contact me, but this is how to use the previous station.